I'm here in a cool little town called Geyserville in the Northern California wine country. That brings us here to Catelli's. Here we go, folks. Get your food ready. Where Nick Catelli. What do we got, DC? And his sister, Dominica. Spaghetti DC sauce. Have come home. Ravioli coming up. With the butter garlic sauce, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's thin, it's cooked to perfection. All made by hand every day. Seriously, yeah. just like Grandma Catelli's. We are making the rav filling. The pork butt. So you right. cut the strips. Before it goes into the grinder. I want that as a ringtone. <laughs> so next what we're going to do is we're going to make the slurry that seasons the pork with Chardonnay, whole black peppercorns, fennel seed. Principal items in sausage. Yes, red pepper flakes, fresh thyme, ton load of garlic, fresh ground nutmeg, and salt. We don't have a lid for our blender anymore. In for some true reason. Catelli style. Yeah. OK. She's so. ready to roll. That goes in here. Then we just squish it. And this is going in the fridge for two days. To really let those flavors come out. Absolutely. What in the world are we into now? We're going to roast off the meat. Big beef chunks. Chicken. Skin on. And then here's our house-made sausage. If you can grab the olive oil. Got it. And give me a good douse and drizzle on here and salt and pepper. And we're going to roast this. Going at 450 for how long? 30 to 40 minutes. We have to mix all our veg. OK. Onion, celery, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, Swiss chard. Look at this. Such great texture, great flavor. Salt, pepper. Yep. And then that's going to go in. Into the oven? For about 40 minutes. All right. You're going to dump the meat. And the juices. Into there. It smells awesome. So the bread gets mixed in. Let's get all the veg in there. Now we're going to put the pecorino. OK. And Parmesan. Thyme. thyme basil. Thyme parsley? Yes. It okay. smells so good. Rosemary, salt, some pepper, sage, and then eggs. Then we're going to go back to the grinder. Yes. Now, I can't hold this and be over there eating any of that at the same time. That's part of the plan. Look at that. And you can taste it at this point. Mmm. You put that in a flip-flop, that would taste good. All right. We're making the dough for the ravioli. Put the eggs in, and then we're going to pour the Doppia Zero flour. Super fine flour. So mix it up, pull it out, knead it a little bit more, let it rest. Yes. And we're going to cut off a piece, roll it out. How many times is this going to go through? 11. You got 27 hours in a day here? So this is going to be round one. Crank it down and just keep going. OK, we're going down to one, and this is when we're going to read the newspaper. Can you read it? That's nuts. So the meat filling. It's just like therapy. I feel good about me. OK, we're moisturizing. Lay this on top, press down, and we're going to make our little square. So then you can make it pretty. Then we're going to quick freeze them. And please, after that, can we eat? Yes, let's boil the wraps. When they float to the top, we're going to pull them out. What fantasticness are you tossing that in? Butter, garlic, salt, parsley, and a pinch of Parmesan cheese. Manja. Wow, so tender, delicate, and so rich, small, dainty, handmade. Perfection is what this is. This is one of the best raviolis I've ever had. We have Catelli's meat raviolis. Pasta is done perfect. It's wonderful. It's thin, and you can taste the meat. Catelli's ravioli butter garlic. They're doing a great job.